flex in this model. Workflow for the other for functions. This is equivalent to the complete workflow of Flux. Let me first briefly introduce. The first one is a basic raw image function. The second one is the more powerful raw image function. The difference is that it can be generated by mixing ST word patterns with natural language prompts. More accurate. The second is to apply repair. You can add prompt words to repair if necessary. Remember that the repair range here is generally not 1 if e. The integration with the original picture is not so strong, so remember to keep this intensity below 1. This way you could easily modify any. Image editing. The fourth one is a picture of a living being, can be turned into comics. Let me first briefly introduce. I will introduce it in detail later. The fifth one is. Then change his style. Realistic or something. This is the sixth. The sixth one is a high definition restoration. Generally, the generated image will be a bit blurry. After high definition restoration, he will be more perfect. Details make it more perfect. This one, too. The extent of the modification should be controlled by yourself. Like this. This is another modification. Figure E. Then this is zoned in. HD zoom. This is understood as the sharpening intensity. This is the normal version. The following is a more advanced version. Just finish the picture. It is rather vague. By zooming in, I can make it clear. Let's zoom in to make it clear. You may not be able to see it this way. I put it to the maximum. He will recreate these very detailed things. It will come out more perfect. Of course you can use it according to the situation. If you don't want to deploy. If you want to use it directly online, like I am now. Click me. All workflows are here. Click this to open. I use the image of the endbrain cloud. If you don't want to deploy, just click this. Clicking like I am now. If you open it, it will then look like on. this. Go to this page. This way, you don't need to deploy the model. Use directly. All my workflows. Click on the first one to see all the workflows of Flux. If you want to install locally, you can open my notes. Click this navigation, Comfy UI Tutorial. He will jump to. The first thing in my workflow is Flux's raw image. If you click on it, the lower screenshots of various workflows and instructions for use. There is also a comparison. There are also models to download and install. And the screenshots, general instructions for use. Key points. There is also the following workflow This download. is suitable for local users. Installed by local users. I have a model introduction here. All there are common node introductions. It's all here. Top. Drag to C. In addition to notes, there are also a video. You can write the video one by one. For example, this flux corresponds to the first. Each node corresponds to a video tutorial. You can go and see for yourself. I am currently using the online mirror of the end-to-end -end cloud. This is a... This way, you don't have to worry about deployment. All my workflows are available at once. Just open and use.
No need to consider model or not deployment, etc. Okay, let's introduce this usage in detail below. I won't introduce the ordinary raw pictures, just watch the previous video. First of all, this adds the prompts, natural language and SD were in mind. You can use a mixture of both prompts or just natural language. The following is SD, which is the word pattern we use to use. Separate one by one the natural language below, put in the whole paragraph or a story. You can use both together or separately. This reinforces the reminder. A precision control. For example, I want to use the previous control method. One want to enhance this, then I will use the old method of SD above to control. To enhance something, then click generate like this. Then I close the others. Test it for everyone to see. Because he is together, so I put them all in one workflow. No need. Very fine. I think there are many workflows. I think it is inconvenient to use. There is no point. So, I will just categorize them all together. Then the order of each function is also divided by function. The first step for each function is here. Step 2, step 3, like this. It's a bit like a progress bar arrangement. This way you can better adjust the control. And I have detailed annotations on each side. If you don't understand, just each read the annotations. annotation. Convert image format to WEBP format. The advantage of this format is that it is small and high definition. And it is the fastest to display on the web page. So this format is usually used on web pages. For example, I strength then the hint will come out. This turtle is here. This is one of the advantages of mixed use. I just added this one randomly. This is just a generator. A control for playing sound. It's optional. For example, its default sound is just one sound, which is not very I want him to end it. Play a song when. This is a better way to remind me. This is the effect, the rest are ordinary. Okay, this one is over. Next one. The next one is this. Repair. Repair. Many people will adjust this repair intensity to 1. This won't work. For example, Repair. If you adjust it to 1, let's take a look. The repair strength is too high. He doesn't blend in with the original picture below at all. So there is actually no such setting. Now I use the EndBrain Cloud. I'm using a 4090 graphics car, so it's speed. R seconds is fast. If local, my computer has a max configuration. 10 minutes, 20 minutes. Because it is a large model. If I adjust the modification range to 1, he didn't refer to the base map at all. This one doesn't have 1. It is equivalent to generating a picture on this picture and covering it. So this. Normally, it will not be set to 1. Generally, the modification range is adjusted to 0 0.75 or 0 0.8, below 1. Then generate. So the image you generate cannot be integrated with the original image.
then you must remember to adjust this to a normal modification range. I also have a detailed introduction here. Generally, 0.75 and 0.8 are normal. If you turn it to 1, you're generating images on it. It's not a modification. So it is normal if it is adjusted to 0 0.75. The original picture looks like After modification, this. cut his long hair shorter. Then get in better shape. That's what I mean. If I want him to target me, the tip is to modify it a little higher. Then I will adjust this to 0 0.85. Anyway, it's if not it me. is 1, it means he has not modified it. He just generated a picture and posted it. Generate a picture and stick it on your painted area. So if it is modified, this cannot be set to 1. This will help you understand the changes in my prompts more accurately. Then change it to short hair. If you feel that it is not perfectly integrated with the original picture, then you can lower it further. It's to adjust to a normal modification range. This is mainly the role. Of course, I usually have a default standard value of 0.7 or 0.8 because Confiway is a free editor. So you have to set these to the correct range yourself. Adjusting to the correct range is the purpose of image modification. If you adjust to 1, that's a raw picture. That is the range of the generated image. So you have to distinguish this yourself. For example, 0 0.8 is the most normal modification range. He perfectly modified the text, hair, and figure. OK, this one is over. You can try it yourself. You won't introduce The this. same applies to this modification range. The principle is the same. If you want to modify a comic, just change the prompt word. The principle is the same as here. Note that if you modify, this should be 0.75 to 0.8 or lower. The amplitude will never be 1. 1 is the value used for raw images. I think I have introduced this below. He is equivalent to a picture of a Just living Just add an image reverse prompt word. No need to write prompts manually. That's a fact. This is not introduced. OK, this one is a HD restoration. Just add an all for high definition restoration. There's actually nothing good to introduce about this. Mainly introduce a more advanced high definition restoration below. This high definition restoration. The general effect he generates is pretty good. But if you look at the details carefully, what, what is not in line with what we do? Design a standard. So this part here is to give him a reimage. Just added an image zone. A functional high definition zone. This way he becomes sharper. And recreate these details. This is a step up from the above. Then this part also uses this node. This model repair model HD repair. This is understood as the degree of sharpening. Just adjust it to 1.5. Then this is a normal enlarged model. Load it in. Figure E. This is how we achieve this level of detail. Very sharp to this hair. Because it's vague. This cowhide is also fussy. 
He will sharpen it to achieve his detail, and the points on the leather are also reflected. Multi tiles generate finer details. For example, the texture on this leather jacket is generator. So if you want ultra high definition, this is the workflow. Use to generate images, then step by step. Improve its details and texture. The style of the picture remains basically unchanged. Okay, that's all for the session. Let's go play.